Well, a doctor in Southeast Portland built her practice around making everyone feel welcome as she did that after seeing how some were struggling to feel accepted in traditional medical settings. As she is this week's remarkable woman finalist and we stopped by her Hey Doc clinic to see what makes it and her so special. All right, so here, go ahead and tilt to the right. This may seem like a typical chiropractic appointment, but so much thought has gone into everything about this room, this treatment, and the doctors who work at Hey Doc. Historically, to be honest with you, healthcare has been very harmful. Dr. Montserrat Andres need to help those who are underserved began at a young age. Her great grandmother was a midwife and herbalist in Honduras. And when her family moved to the States, that healing tradition carried on. I would watch people come to the house and I would watch my grandmother massage them. And in um, my family, it was considered like your gift from God that you could do this. And so it was free of charge to the people that would come. Here's another muscle. Montserrat decided to go to chiropractic school to pursue her gift, which is what brought her to Portland. Such a beautiful city. I fell in love immediately. Um, and so there was no question. Once I graduated, I knew I was going to stay. After Montserrat started treating patients, though, she noticed an interesting theme. She is Latina and queer, and people were asking her, where are the other BIPOC and queer and transgender friendly providers? It's not that we're not here, it's just that people are having a hard time sifting through lists that are impersonal and like trying to go by pictures and is this person even good, you know, when we all get our our website to go look at our insurance providers and you're just like, I don't know. I'm Dr. Montserrat Andres. Welcome to Hey Doc Podcast, a space where we chat, laugh, and share stories of Black, Indigenous, and POC healthcare providers. Montserrat not only started compiling a list for patients, but she also started this podcast talking with other BIPOC and queer people in the medical community. I have a few rapid fire questions for you. You ready? It was during that time that with some convincing from her friend, Dr. Carrie Shaw, she founded Hey Doc. I just said we need it. We need it. We need a space for people to come in and visibility for somebody to see me, for somebody to see her and just be immediately comfortable instead of on edge at a doctor's office. But I was like, if people are so excited just about learning where people are in the city, imagine if there's a group of us in one space and how excited people would be to just be like, oh, I get one stop shop. <laughs> Starting a business during the pandemic, carefully selecting not only who would be treating patients, but even making sure the artwork and the merch came from the BIPOC, queer, and trans communities. What a lot of people don't know is she has sacrificed so much of herself to keep keep this place going. And um, see, I'm like, here we go. Carrie has a hard time talking about her without tearing up. And Carrie has watched Monster Op pour everything into making Hey Doc a success through a lot of rough periods, setting aside her own personal needs. Only recently did Montserrat step back into this passion of hers. You can see her performing flamenco dancing at various events around town. She's celebrating her roots, and that carries over into her practice, where patients can be who they are with no judgment. People feel listened to. We have longer appointment times. We take time with our patients. Um, we actually listen to what they tell us, and we respond. And I know that that actually sounds like a really low bar, um, but it's something that is mentioned to us a lot. And if you want to find out more about the Hey Doc Clinic in Southeast Portland, we have a link in our article on coin.com. And we also have a link to her podcast. And of course, tune in next Wednesday for our third Remarkable Women finalist.